Imagine submitting an offer on a property and you've included a clause that says there's no death, murder, or suicide in the home. Seller receives that offer, crosses out that specific clause, and sends it back to you. One of the most common type of questions I receive at the law office is, does this mean that there's a death, murder, suicide? The answer is one that might surprise you. When you cross something out of the agreement of purchase and sale, the parties are basically saying that it's not a provision in the agreement. That doesn't mean that there is a death, murder, suicide. It just means that that specific clause hasn't made it into the contract and you can't say one way or another that there was a death, murder, suicide or not. In the event that you submit an offer and something comes back crossed out, it should raise a concern for you to do extra due diligence, but it may not in itself mean that there is an issue with the property. It's just that the seller's not agreeing to take any sort of contractual liability and you may as a buyer want to do further due diligence. If you like content like this, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I do a ton of content on making money, saving money, and avoiding problems. This is Ricky Rathor here again, broker owner at Remax Metropolis, real estate lawyer at Rathor Big Professional Corporation. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.